on this channel we only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone all right guys welcome back to another segment you know the one normally do it i'm always there to give you guys updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone yes finally finally enzo fernandez has apologized for that singular act that happened yesterday during the celebration of the Copa America Cup from the Argentina team because he was the one that went live. Remember, I said something yesterday that if only an apology can be tendered from the player, definitely we all fans will be happy and welcome it with open arms. So for me, I believe that the apology has been accepted. But let me read it for you guys via his Instagram page. Enzo Fernandez, he said that, I want to apologize sincerely for a video posted on my Instagram channel during the national team celebration. This song includes highly offensive language and there is absolutely no excuse for these words. I stand against discrimination in all forms and apologies for getting caught up in this euphoria of our Copa American celebration. That videos that, that video, that moment, that word, do not reflect my belief or my character. I am truly sorry. So, uh, we should just accept the apology. The guy has apologized. Wesley Fana, Malogusto, all the French players in the Chelsea team. I just believe that you guys have seen this apology from the Chelsea player. And I believe that you guys will accept the apology and move on. You understand? Because we don't want anything that we make our dressing room divided. We don't want it. We don't want it at all. Both for the player himself, we don't want it for the coach. And also for the 2024-2025 season that is coming. We just want everybody to be at peace and be in unity. The player has said it that that is not his style. That is not what they know him, they know him for. That he is one person that stand against discrimination so when it comes to that area that is not him so we should just believe whatever Enzo Fernandez have said and we should stand on it too and move on you understand then as for the case of um Victor Osimhen a lot of people have been asking me boss why is Victor Osimhen trending what is going on what is happening yes I'm here to clear the air on that area Victor Osimhen is trending because of Napoli are really keen on signing uh, Romelu Lukaku. Remember, we said that if the Saudi Arabia money comes first, we'll do that business. But the player still wants to maintain his salute in the European football. And also, Antonio Conte, the new coach of Napoli, is really keen on bringing in Lukaku into Napoli. So for me, I, it's not a bad one. But the thing is that Napoli needs to free Victor or Simen before they can do that kind of deal with Chelsea. That is why it's looking like uh, Ch Chelsea are now in, on the line for Victor or Simen. Chelsea are on the line for Victor or Simen, no doubt. But just like we, we said other times that the fee involved in terms of the transfer, the, the transfer fee and also the wages involved is very, very high. If only, if only there will be an adjustment, definitely Chelsea will do that business. But for now, Chelsea is not only the only club online for now. And Victor Simen, um, this other uh, person, so PSG, this other club, PSG is also on the line. One club from Saudi Arabia. But for the club for Saudi Arabia, I don't think Victor Simen will definitely want to push himself to Saudi Arabia. I don't think so. But let's just watch how everything plays out for Victor Simen and also for Chelsea pushing Lukaku to Napoli. Let's just see how this thing will work out. What if we do a swap deal? Give them Lukaku, add just little fee and get Victor Simen. But even though we do that business and Napoli has said, what about the wages? So all those things, Chelsea are putting it into consideration. That is why you see that in respect of the fact that some of us don't like Samu Omerodion from Atletico Madrid, Chelsea are also calm and quiet and want to sign the player they want to do that business of bringing in Samu but Atletico Madrid are still I'll, I'll put it in this way they are still stubborn on doing that business with Chelsea so for me I just believe that uh, anything that will happen will happen they just watch what Chelsea will do in the case of Victor Simon and other players that we are linked to and again Nico Williams remember Chelsea is still in contact with Atletico Bilbao for Nico Williams. So we don't know how concrete that deal will turn out to look like, but I just want to believe that Chelsea 
have every financial strength to do that business, but just that they still want to make sure that they maintain the book and keep it solo and make sure that their book is in good shape. You understand? So as for Nico Williams, it's not going to be a bad one if we bring in that boy to our club. He grab, but anyhow, anyhow, let's just watch how he plays that because Baka too are likely to do that business in respect of the fact that we are hearing that the financial strength of Baka can match up with Chelsea, but never can tell. Now Spain, Spain. So <laughs> anything can happen. You know that all these Spanish clubs, they respect Barcelona and Real Madrid. So anything can happen. But I won't die my feet or I won't kill my feet in the case of Nico Williams. I need the player. I need him in that position. Just like I said, I can't bank on we, uh, Modric and this person, um, Rem Sterling. I need Nico Williams. You understand? So let's see how everything plays out. Then also, Chelsea are pushing him for a 16-year-old Brazilian, Gabriel Mek, 16-year-old Brazilian, Gabriel Mek. Um, definitely, he's an attacking midfielder. Definitely, that kind of deal, I don't think he's going to be pushed into the first team. He's going to be more of sign and send out on loan or sign and send to the academy uh, side of Chelsea. But let's just watch and see how Chelsea will handle that deal. But Chelsea are really keen on doing that business of bringing Gabriel Mech to the club because they have sent out some of our scouting and uh, this team agents to Brazil to follow up the situation and how things are going. I watched that guy's highlights yesterday. The guy is a very fantastic player. He's still young, but anything can still happen. This is football. If Lemi Yama can do it, Gabriel Mech can also do it. You understand? So that's the situation on ground right now that Chelsea are pushing for a player like Gabriel Mech. But for now, um, just like I said, in the case of Enzo Fernandez, please accept his apology and let us move on. There is no cause for alarm. Malogusto, all the French players in the Chelsea football team, let's move on. It has happened, it has happened. The player has apologized. We have a long way to go next season. After all, the Club World Cup is on the corner, is, is, is on our list, is, on, is one of those competitions that will be playing next year. So we don't want anything that will divide our minds and also the minds of the player. For those of you that have been giving some hate speech on Enzo Fernandez saying, ah, and I don't like this. That's why I hate, please. He has apologized. Accept it and let's move. Thank you very much. My name is Peter Zuet. So like, share, subscribe. Follow this page because on this channel, I will give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters.